<laughs> Sorry, I totally forgot. I didn't even do my starting screen. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I'm a little late today. <laughs> I totally forgot I put on my my schedule at seven o'clock and then I instead of the seven thirty and then I realized that around like seven fifteen oh shit <laughs> that's okay that is okay we are here now huh we're here now and I'm ready to play some Star Rail hopefully you guys are uh, all right as you saw from the title um Blade is out. I'm kind of excited about that. So today we're going to try to get played. I know Luocha, it didn't work out. <laughs> That's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll get something. I mean, we do have... Do we have a five star? Oh my god. We do, right? Is it Japard? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> I'll have to see, huh? We'll have to see. Oh, I totally forgot. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. One second. I'm just checking on stuff first. I have to log out because I'm I, I I played some last night, so give me one second. Okay. Uh oh I don't remember. Okay. Uh. There we go. All right, here we are. All right, let's get in. Let us get in. Hopefully you like the music. It's very chill, huh? Very chill. Hope you guys don't mind jumping right into it, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's mute this one sec. Let's bring up the, the old Honkai Star Rail music. No, I shouldn't say ye ol. <laughs> it is supposed to be in the future or whatever. It's futuristic, so if anything, it's not. All right, let me check uh, the volume for this. Okay. All right, we should be good, right? Okay. If anything gets too loud or too quiet, just let me know. All right, let's see what we got today. We've got nothing today. There are character trials. I remember this. Okay, so these character trials, from what I remember, is you can just do them and they'll give you, they'll just straight up give you Stellar Jade. But um, let's go ahead and let's play some today. <laughs> let's play some um, missions and stuff because we want to get further, right? So. Nice, we have that one. I don't know who that is, but I guess we'll figure it out. Let's try Blade. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't say hi. Oh, fuck. I'm kind of like, kind of in a tizzy. <laughs> um, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time and you're checking out on YouTube. If, um, if this is your, if you're a returning little B-ling, then welcome. Welcome back. Um, I'm QB June. You can call me June. You can call me QB. It's up to you. Uh, I play Honkai, I play, well, I used to play Amori, probably gonna have to play that on my own or something. <laughs> no. Um, I also am probably gonna grab Disco Elysium and play that. I play a variety of games and, uh, a mixed, mixed bag on Saturdays. So, oh, and I also do hand cams. I, um, am doing crafting and stuff, hand cams on Wednesdays. Uh, comfy Wednesdays. Comfy, um, call them, I call them crimes and crafting, uh, crafts. I am trying to decide between the two, but <laughs> crimes, crimes and crafts. And that's when we listen to a podcast or podcast or a video on a true crime that, or a true crime story. And we do some crafts and you can watch me do that craft. Currently we're doing some diamond painting. So, um, It'll be some fun times, so please join me if you haven't. All right, let's see what this guy does. So he does minor one damage to an enemy with his Q. Um, Hellscape consumes HP, so he uses HP in order to attack. Okay, to enhance basic attack. 
and this turn does not end after the skill is used ah uh, i see so you can use his e which is his skill and then use his q which will enhance that attack right. or hit which would be an enhanced attack that sentence is his alt it sets his current hp to 50 percent of his max hp and then does massive wind damage to a single enemy and then wind damage to adjacent targets as well so uh, you would choose one target in particular that would take a lot of damage and then the other two next to them i'm guessing that or i'm sorry one to the left and one to the right will take some damage as well just not as much as the targeted one shuhu's gift when blades hp is lowered he gains one stack of charge when maximum charge stack is reached uh it doesn't say what is um what's the maximum charge stack Blade immediately deals wind damage to all enemies and then restores HP. Then all charges are consumed. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, so when his HP is lowered, even by himself, he gains a charge of stack. I understand. And then when he has a max amount of... Question mark amount of stacks, I don't know. We're probably going to have to get in and look. Um, then he'll do AoE damage and then heal himself. So he might not necessarily need the help of someone else. Maybe someone that like Natasha would be really good that like this heal over time, but doesn't like just basically keeps him up so he can do damage, but not be like, I guess crazy. Um, let me hold on. Let me, I'm just moving my chat over so I can see if anybody pops in. Okay. So on the last one, his technique, Karma Wind, attacks the enemy after entering combat, consumes own HP, and deals wind damage to all enemies. Okay. All right, let's let's try him out. Let's try him out. I'm okay. Oh, so Did we still have the upper hand. This is kind of loud, huh? Hold on, one second. I'm a lord on my end, too. It's always very loud for me. I've, I don't know why, but I guess it's because my, my headset is loud and I've got sensitive ears or something. <laughs> that should be better in terms of um, um, volume. Okay, so what is this? Oh, sorry, not that one. They put something on us. What is it? Whoever attacks Guardian Shadow will be attacked one time. Okay, the so Guardian Shadow is the person in the middle. We're not going to attack her. So let's try the other guys. Um, let's go with this standard and then we will put we'll put this on him just because I know afterwards or right here I'm gonna go ahead and yep right so it gives me a damage boost to my standard attack and let's try killing this guy ooh he has really cool effects, though. May be unreachable for me. Okay. Oh, he has a nice voice actor, too. I'm wondering who his VA is. Alright, so I want to focus on Guardian Shadow. I don't believe that we have that debuff on us anymore at the bottom. So we won't get attacked when you Waiting get this. Drains one's so. bigger. Oh, hush. <laughs> Just chill. Savor it for me. <laughs> I love his ult. I've seen his ult before through a YouTube video, actually. That must be his stacks, right? Because he just healed. He just healed. His stacks are five. So he has five stacks in total. Um, what is this? Why can't I attack? Let's see. However, his basic attack will be attacked one time. I see, so I'm I'm stuck using skills. It's okay. Let's try doing that. Nope. Okay. Let's do No, we're okay. Alright, so I can't use a standard attack. Let's do a heal. That's better. Unnecessary. Okay, so that actually that burn actually added to his stack, so that's actually quite nice <laughs> that adds to it okay so let's do this we don't really have a choice right oh it faded already I'm okay. Oof. um all right let's impair uh okay so Just we want to heal 
think you can. Unnecessary. Heal, and then we'll do standard attack so it can give him. Ooh. Yeah, he gets his uh, passive pretty quickly, actually. That's kind of cool. So does he have his enhanced attack still? Hold up. I want to see. Uh, damage boost. Okay. Heals over time. Yep, yep, yep. Death sentence. HP lost. Okay, he still has this. This stays on him for a really long time. We did this like freaking five turns ago and it's still on him. Two turns remaining too. So it's going to take a bit. Um, let's do this enhanced attack. That paradise may be a favorite for me. Uh, follow that up with the null. There we go. He's really Chad Norris. <laughs> um, he's really strong. I feel like he's very strong. Um, as is most five stars, I feel. <laughs> Um, so there are some that I feel like that aren't as strong, but all right, let's try this. Okay. We, we were close last time to Luo Cha. We tried putting everything into it. Ripples in the dirt. I don't want to skip it just in case. Oh, purple. Okay. Well, what is it? Who is it? Okay. It's a light cone. That's okay. So this is, oh, it's Bronya. It's Bronya and, um, Kokolia. Her name is, right? Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Found an old express communication log in the data bank. Mm. I'm also having something to drink, by the way. Like, alcoholic, so. If I get a little crazy, then forgive me. Um, and <laughs> one of the categories is dad jokes. I don't fully understand it, but my instincts tell me that you should be able to. Am I like that? So this is the kind of person I am in your mind. Yes, that this is what it says. On watch keeping duty with Himiko, she's talking in her sleep, pom pom. There's another entry an hour later. On watch keeping duty with pom pom. They have been talking in their sleep for almost an hour, Himiko. What do you think, Juni? This is clearly a horror story. <laughs> is it? I don't, I didn't understand it, but it sounds like we need an extra tag for it. The log stops there. I asked Himiko and Pom Pom. Neither of them remember the incident. Who was the one talking in their sleep? Looks like we can only rely on the other entries in the data bank to verify this information. Uh... This, if it's not Himiko or Pom Pom, because they say, wait, it says on watch keeping duty with Himiko. She is talking in her sleep. The only other person that I can think of, since we're male, it would have to be March, right? March 7th, since Himiko, unless Himiko is saying Pom Pom has been talking in their sleep, but she could be using they as a very like gender neutral. Hmm. We'll see. I tend to believe that the um, Omni, the, the Omni Bank, the data bank is omnipotent. And we got some jade from that. Very cool. All right. And I have to sneeze. Hold on. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I just had to sneeze for a little bit. Oh, man. Okay, all good. We should get some jade from that. We're just trying to farm jade at this point. Because, I don't know about you, but I want blade. <laughs> I'm looking for blade. I'm looking forward to him. He looks really strong. And I want him part of my team because I feel like we're lacking a proper DPS. Uh, from whatever. From what I see. Ooh. Okay. Compensation? Let's do some warps then. Hold up. Okay. I I know people don't like the whole one at a time warps, but I love one at a time. Oh, Harlan. I that's two purples in a row, actually. Okay, collapsing. Oops. Okay. That's fine. We'll we'll save it for later. Let me look at Arlen. Is he any good? Okay, he's a destruction character. 
Damage and possesses great survivability. Suitable for various combats. Hmm. Okay. And he's um, electricity. Or is this lightning? Okay, yeah. I was going to say lightning. Could be lightning. I don't know, because it could be- we could do Donhang here? Like, switch it? From Donhang- uh, I mean, Arlen to Donhang? But, alright, let's just keep with a particular squad right now. For now, right? Um, let's see what kind of quests we've got going on here. We need a Trailblaze level of 14, right? So, go ahead and check what's going on over here. I think this is the daily quest, right? And this gives you Jade? Check this out. Okay. Where is our food? Don't waste our time. We need to do research. Seriously, I need to work on my curio report. We're trying to figure it out. What's happening here? A robot delivers our meals here, but it's late. I've been waiting for ages. Don't worry, we've got people coming over with the food. No one will go hungry here. It's one thing to eat late, but you need to figure out what exactly happened with the robot so this won't happen again. Leave it to us. We're, we'll get to the bottom of this. Um, something happened with the robots? Robots can cook. We use robots to deliver meals. But recently they keep failing, failing the deliveries. Taking a drink. Those ro robots were fine just before, but suddenly they all broke down. Thank goodness I bought some nutrient gel with me today. Otherwise, I'd fainted from an empty stomach. Nutrient gel. Yum. I just got a message. The food is here. Please go and have something to eat, everyone. You're Junie, right? Please, can I have a word with you? I've asked maintenance to check on the robots, but they never replied. I'm too busy to leave my post right now. Are you able to go and see what's going on? Uh, piece of cake. You chose the right person for the job. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry to trouble you. Okay. So meals are more important. But let's let's see where this is. Where is this located? Oh. M. We're going to open up our map instead. Base zone. So we're going to port there first. That's interesting. Little, ro little drone robots, I guess, that bring food. Damn, I wish. <laughs> I'm kinda hungry now, actually. <laughs> Maybe after this I'll get something to eat, huh? What do you need? If you want some anything fixed, put an application to the terminal. Ask them about the robots. Oh, you mean the maglev robots. To be honest, they're actually giving me a big headache. I've wanted to take them apart for ages and see what's wrong. But it's a good thing I haven't done that, otherwise they'd void their warranty. Uh, void their warranty? Yes, this thing is still in its warranty period. Lead researcher Asta bought these robots with her own money. They're all custom made and cost a lot. I've taken them apart ages ago. I'd have taken them apart ages ago if they were some ordinary gadget, but the manual says, should the product be tampered with, it will no longer be under warranty with the, with the Inter Astral Peace Appliances Service Center. This thing is so expensive. And it's a gift from the lead researcher. Of course I don't care to just take it apart. I better wait for their support services to show up. Um, What are the other researchers meant to do then? Just keep waiting for their food? Um, The service department should be able to handle it? You're right. Let me see. There's damage on the base, so some parts may have fallen out. As for where they might have gone, maybe on the meal delivery route that the robots take? Could you please help me see if there are any loose parts around the robot's root? Okay, sure. So, where is it though? Where is this root? The root... This is... This hurt us place? I don't remember. Okay. Root storage zone. So I think the best place would probably be here. Let's try this place. Hmm? And then we'll kind of like walk to the left of that. Okay. So this way. No, 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 no. Other way around, actually. Oh, it's full of monsters and stuff. Okay. These are level 8. We're level 10. We should be okay, right? This will strengthen us. 
There we go. I almost didn't get him. Mm, we should the be okay with that. Focus on this person, because I know that they do, um, they do, like, how should I say it? Uh, they do targeting spells, like marks and stuff. Asa's actually pretty strong with her bounce, I think. Alright, let's see. March is the weakest, I think. Let's make it quick. That's right, we only have March temporarily until we get Natasha. Because we're trying to focus on grabbing Natasha. Okay. That's easy. Let's grab past victories don't guarantee future ones. Oh wait, what's that? I see something on the map. Oh, it's above? It might... We might need to go around. We'll go this way first, okay? Yeah. This might be it. Okay. Uh, no. I was looking for this, actually. Someone long range would be nice. Investigate? Is this it? A shattered curio with particles floating around the crack reflect refracting unstable light. It reminds you of some kind of ancient cathoid cathoid ray tube device and a mysterious role that everyone somehow knows. If it isn't working, try hitting it. You subconsciously reach out to tap the curio. Not wondering, not knowing whether it's an illusion, you feel that the light emitted by the strange object is more dazzling than before. You decide to tap it a few times. Nothing seems to happen. You decide to tap it again. Doesn't seem like anything is different. Still doesn't seem like anything happened, so you decide to tap it again. Keep tapping it. The previously- oh, there it goes. It opened up. The previously dim curio suddenly shines brightly and you throw your hands up to shield your eyes. Several seconds later, you open your eyes, but the cracks have disappeared. After checking you're not hallucinating, you decide to tell Asta about this. Asta's right here. Back end detected a weird a quantum fluctuation just now. You were right beside it at the time. What happened? Uh, I fixed the curio. I just whacked the curio a few times, the crack on it disappeared. I can't even believe it myself. I can't believe it either. Backend data from an uh, panopticon, panopticon systems system does show it has been fixed and it is active at the moment. It's giving out a steady energy reading. It may be pure luck, but this is too much of a coincidence. Hey, could it be that your hand was blessed by, the an by an uh, ion? I forgot how do you say it. It's Eon? Eon? Eon. Alright, I'm kidding. No matter how, no matter how, you're the one who did it. I'll send you the reward. I've sent you the reward. Remember to check it out. Is it five? No. There's something different. Huh. Okay, so we might be on the wrong floor? So, let's look at the map again. It is upstairs and upstairs oh floor two. Oh, i don't think we've been here before okay so we're gonna do courtyard first floor no 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 over here yes special purpose lab second floor okay so we're gonna go this way oh this one's pretty easy i think i'd imagine I'm aware of how this works. Ta-da! And we get a bountiful treasure. We've got one here. What's this? Is it just money? Thing. Books? I'm sorry if I'm a little bit more thorough. I tend to be when it comes to like RPG games like this. I don't I don't really like like missing things, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but that's just the way that I am. Some basic treasure and I think this is the last one, right? Yeah, there we go. 
last little part. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Go back to base zone and talk to this guy again. Give him the parts and hopefully the um the food bots will actually fix, huh? Oh, you're back. How is it? Did you find any parts? Piece of cake. You chose the right person for the job. This fits the outline of the crack on the base. That means my hypothesis is right. I'll get to fixing it right away. Thank goodness you're here, Jenny. You are a big help. Okay. Got some some stuff for the daily to be done. And our trailblaze level is 11. Now, what did we need to be at? 14, I think? Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Um, let's try this one, the simulated universe. No, because we're looking for Natasha. So let's go ahead and try doing things before Natasha. Because I really don't. The thing is, I don't want to put points into March and stuff and or fail the second uh, simulation um, by putting points and in, in, in money and resources into March when I'm actually just going to use Natasha. So, all right, let's talk to this Abraham guy. But please rest assured that the zone is completely under the c control of the Curios collection squad. Uh, why is your voice shaking? Shaking? It, it's not. You must have misheard. Phew. Calm down, Abraham. As a member of the Curio Collection Squad, you must always stay calm. Fear, if picked up by others, will only make everyone distrust you, but also ruin your chance to avenge Alfred. Mrs. Hinkle transferred me here from the obstacle detection terminal so I could follow the lead of Wen Ming... Mingde? Mingdi, head of the Curio Collection Squad, to toughen myself up on the front line. Surprised he's talking to himself like I can hear you, dude. <laughs> but as soon as I came here, I encountered a problem about about reactivating the space anchor over there. Um even I can do it. Don't put it like that. You're the big hero who saved the space station. This isn't something that anyone can do. You're being too modest, that's true. I, it is one thing that I feel like that happens a lot, is that a lot of people who, um, how should I say it? They're very good at something. They happen to be very good at something. Um, and then they see, a, they see a task as being something very easy for them. And they believe that that task would be very easy for every, everyone else. When it could just be that their minds don't work that way, or they just don't have the same type of skills or training that that person has. So I think it's it's easy, like, uh, I think video games is a good one. So like, for example, if somebody has played video games for a really long time, um, even like myself or um, other people who have played like FPSs or, or RPGs, and they see those elements and they're very familiar with those elements, it, it's almost as if they they say why couldn't you get this like this is pretty much i mean i feel like it's like learning a language right the link uh, actually mm, oh my goodness there is a oh gosh there is a one second I'm trying to figure out the the um There's a YouTuber who made a, sorry about this tangent, going off on a tangent, I'm stalling, I'm stalling. That's what I'm, exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Um, it starts with an, it starts with an R. It's called, um, language of video games. Let's try that. Um, Retsbuten. That's what it is. It says what the uh, the video is. What games are like for someone who doesn't play games? It has 13 million views, so it's a high chance that people have seen 
this video before, but it's also a possibility that you haven't. Um, it, it, it's very interesting because Red Sputin has a wife who doesn't play games and she just started playing games. She, she asked, hey, could she play a particular game? And she started doing that. Um, but the thing is, is that like, there were things that Red Sputin would look at and be like, that is so easy to understand, but she would keep failing. Like his wife would just keep failing that, um, the concept of it. Cause I believe she was playing Shovel Knight and um, she would see, it would be a pattern on the ground that would be like spikes and she would just jump into it, not understanding, oh, like those are spikes. Why are the spikes bad? Like in for many people like ourselves who have been gaming for a very long time that is like the most basic of the basic things you see very sharp <laughs> things on the ground um and and you think i want to avoid that because i don't know if it's going to attack or not attack me i'm sorry uh, hurt hurt my character or whatever it is but for people who don't play games that's that's not innate for them it was a very interesting kind of um I don't want to say documentary uh, analysis on the way that we as gamers have a language that we developed over time. Uh, and I know this is like a huge tangent off of what's going on now, but it's interesting, right? I find it very interesting when, when you have, you have something that is easy for you to understand but harder for others and it makes you have an, an appreciation for other people's talents too because they they must have skills and talents that you're just like what do you mean that's natural for you to understand i never would have thought, that is not at all intuitive for me um but for them they're like i've been doing this forever so just a thought just a thought um i'll i will probably I'll, I'll, rem I'll repeat it. It's called What Games Are Like for Someone Who Doesn't Play Games by Rasputin. And he made this video three years ago. So I highly recommend you watch that if you, if people have not yet. Anyway, so back to it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Tangent, tangent. Right. Don't put it like that. You're a big hero. This is not something that anyone can do. You are being too modest. Actually, the activation itself isn't di difficult to part. Uh, you just need to get close to the space anchor. Um... The biological polarity of your body would be enough to activate it. The real challenge is, okay, so monsters are on, along the way. Um, there were nothing but distant shadows I could just brush aside. Then the invasion happened, and when I learned that they got Alfred, my heart began to fill up with hatred. And when I became a member of the Curio Collection Squad and met them face to face, all I felt was fear. At that moment, his fading eyes flashed in my head. Okay, so he has like basically intense PTSD because of what has happened in the space station previously, right? That invasion. What a loser. I couldn't get the courage to bring go through with it and activate the space anchor. It's been like this for several days. Um, let's go together. He says, no, I can't. I'll just get in the way. How do you know? You'll just stay behind me. It's okay. Uh, please, Junie, please activate the space anchor. I'm counting on you. All right, I guess he just wants us to do it. You gotta face your fear sometime, Mr. Abraham. It's okay. Nice, basic treasure. I, have this already? I don't know, Asta. You're a rich bitch, you probably do. <laughs> hmm, triple authentication. Hmm. Um, let's see. Electricity. Okay. So the only person would be Junie. Got him. Whack him from the, like, in the back of the head. Um, I wonder what you guys are... Have you guys all Can eaten dinner yet? I have not. I had lunch. I had, I had a pretty good lunch, actually. I had, um... There's a place called Banchan. If anybody has had Banchan before. It's, uh, it's really good. It is 
Korean Let's man fried chicken. So good, honestly. Um, and I had three drumsticks. And I was super full when I did. Um, <laughs> extremely full. <laughs> When when I had that, so I had a big I had a big lunch. So I'm okay, but uh oh oh, do you hear those violins in the back? Okay, so it fades when like aggro kind of removes. Let's go for it. Let's try it. This may move carefully be a disaster, but we'll see. The truth of life and death reveals sanctuary is but a vision. Oh, that does nothing. That did nothing. Okay, let's try. Tough luck running into me. Okay, we got one guy. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Nice speed boost. Are made to be broken. All right, let's try this guy. Get his uh, shield down. Let's remove that. But yeah, because she's go. she's the lowest, so we want to be careful with that. Let's see how much how many do we have? Two. We should be okay. Yeah, that should kill that. Um, since he's our DPS, I want to filter things into him, but I'm not sure. Did you ever notice that his spear kind of? It's like on fire? I've never noticed that. It has like hesitant. black smoke around it. Interesting. Who invited you? Huh? Honestly, yet. Asta is hilarious. I love her. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Um, alright, so that block was probably very good. Oh. Okay, that is she didn't manage to get a I'm very surprised she didn't get a, um, what do you call it? A counter. Yeah, she need, need a block for Asta. And, and Don Hung. Let's go. All right. Nope, we don't have enough for that. Uh oh, Don Hung. So currently, we do not have a main DPS, unfortunately. Told but you I could bite. Everything is worth those stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Increase her speed again. Let's make it quick. And still blast. So for this, he should only yeah. Okay. Let's reapply it to her. Nice, very nice. Okay. Are made to be broken. But yeah, um, I was wondering if you guys had dinner yet, because I did not. Um, what we do have on the docket though is we're thinking because uh, Papa QB actually gave me some. He gave me some coconut, coconut mango curry. And I thought that sounded really good, actually. <laughs> it actually sounded very good. Okay, yeah, I need to prep this for Junie. Yeah, cause that, that was gonna hurt. So I want to use these ults because I don't know if he's going to, um, I don't know if he's going to do big attacks or anything. Let's go. Um, if you remember, actually, uh oh, one second, I'm going to lower this really quick because this is and a little loud on my end. Who's next? And I'm going to increase. Let's see if it. No?
Uh, there. That should help. Just a little bit, even if it's just a little. Okay. Back to it. Um. Oh my god, what was I talking about? Fuck. <laughs> we finished it though. I don't know what we were talking about, but I finished it. Oh, uh, Papa QB. Um, the word's blank. Oh, I wonder if this is the access identification is for that door we can go through. The triple um, authorization door. I'm wondering. So we'll go back there right now, actually. Um, but yeah, Papa QB actually stopped by um before i went to qk's house um qk's hive <laughs> we he, he sent it to me or he gave me some uh coconut curry with mango and seems pretty good uh retrieve auth um authorization verification card uh let's see Tier 3 certification. Base zone. Remnant of antimatter lesion. The camera seems to have attached. Tier 2. Storage zone. Wubba boos. Elevated. I, I think I know where that is. Um, master control zone. Luscious hairstyle, kneeling down and reaching to Okay. So. Interesting. So that's kind of a mini quest that isn't really on the journal from what I'm seeing. At least I haven't seen it there. Um, I see a couple. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. One second. Can't see. Okay. Uh, I'm just posting this. On to... Well, oh, sorry, I was just posting that on to... Um, a friend server that I was playing today, so. Anyway, back to it. Le left, the hunt. The hunt in the left, farming in the right, an erudition in the heart. Um, so hunt in the left, harmony in the right, erudition in the heart. Interesting, so let's try to remember this. Let's, let's write in a chat, how the, how's that? Hunt left, right? Um, hunt left, harmony right. And erudition? I could be saying that incorrect. I'm just using phonics, okay? Er erudition. Spelled it wrong heart okay to so show up <laughs> there you go so we'll remember that i can hear something but no matter what happens even if i die the second the next second i must finish reciting this phrase hunt on the left harmony on the right erudition the heart and preservation on the chest so preservation Sorry it's taking me so long to type. I actually, I need to clean the inside of my keyboard. Um, you probably, look at that. I, sorry, I'm like a squirrel. I'll finish my, my, my squirrel comment first. Look at the little hexagons on the back. It reminds me of a honeycomb. I actually thought about making a logo similar to this. So, I don't know. Just letting you know. Look out for that. I'll go. <laughs> Maybe. Um, the second thing I was going to say <laughs> was, um, I, um, I need to clean my keyboard out. I 
you probably don't know this about me because I don't have this in my in my about pages or anything like that. I enjoy um, building keyboards. Actually, it's uh, a really fun hobby. I've made two keyboards so far in my entire life, but it is it is an expensive hobby. I can tell you that. Like, if you want to get into a hobby that doesn't cost an arm and a leg and hundreds of dollars, then don't, do not, do not get into custom keyboards. <laughs> it is very cool and very fun putting them together. It is some of the, the most cool stuff that I've done before in terms of a hobby. However, it is very expensive. And instead, you know, if you're planning on having different hobbies, like now I am streaming, then you're going to have to pick and choose, right? I've chose streaming instead of other hobbies that I've done or that are on the, the docket. And to be honest, um, you know, I do have a lot of hobbies, including, including um, custom keyboards and stuff like that. So um yeah uh maybe next time i actually you probably have seen my cut one of my custom keyboard. i actually i'm 100 percent sure you've seen my i think it's a 70 percent no it's a 60 percent it's a 60 percent um keyboard i actually usually i actually made that as a travel keyboard for work but then i found out that my desk doesn't really lend me space for that um for my keyboard to be used properly so um what i decide to do is bring it home and use it for instead uh for for my own hive that is not not qb's hive or a qk's hive uh qk's hive i have my 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 standard keyboard that I made. It is a GMMK Pro. It is a 75% at the TKL and very cool. The only problem that I have with this is that um, occasionally, I think I have to clean my keyboard right now because occasionally I'll have my S's press long and my N's press long. That might just be because I need to um, either re-lube those, those switches or just look into them. Maybe there's some dust in it that I missed or something like that. So I, I do want to check that out. Nice. We got all our daily stuff done and we got some good stuff. Nice. We got the assignment stuff. Woohoo. I am familiar with this one. Yes. Yep. Um, how many of these do we have? 24. How many of these do we have? 59. So let's work. Well, actually, hold up. We have 48 of these. 22 of these. I, I feel like I have no issue with money. So let's, let's do these guys. So let's do March and Herda. So let's confirm that. And two assignments, right? Well, I think this is 24. Yep. Yeah. That. That. Cool. All right. So, that's done. Uh, what are we going to do? That's right. We got to go to storage zone. Yeah. This no. It's up here. I don't remember what's been. Oh, this lady, Hinkle. What's this? Battle of intellects is a source of pride? A pride. Physical exertion brings shame? It's complete nonsense. So physical labor doesn't count as work now? Today I'm going to show them all what real work is. Uh, yeah, show them. All staff present. Attention, please. Curtis Space Station is undergoing a difficult period of revival. In the battle with the Legion, <clears throat> some of our colleagues were slaughtered by monsters, and their cold bodies were thrown into the silent space. 
Oh, they had no burials or anything? The cyber, then again, they don't really have like a graveyard or anything, so I guess they just toss them, but that's a little, that is kind of like a little messed up. The cyber attack has erased years of research efforts. The damaged curios are slowly disintegrating in a weightless environment. Everything within sight has been turned into a wasteland, and monsters are still roaming around in our cabins. No matter how many dazzling achievements you've made on your own, we can no longer afford to live like hermits. We need to mobilize every member of our staff, put down our inherent prejudices, and work together to recover the lost curios and repair the damaged cabins. Inspiring, yes. If you don't mind, I don't want to hear any more complaints about physical labor, nor do I want to see anyone putting off work. You tell them, Hingle. If you're interested in curio recovery, please report to the Curio Collection Squad under under Mr. Wen Ming Di in the base zone as soon as possible. I'm sorry if I'm saying this name incorrectly, by the way. People who are more familiar with well, I am more familiar with Cantonese Chinese as opposed to Mandarin. So I don't know if this could be Ming De or that I mean that's the best way that I would recognize that but if it said as if something different let me know <laughs> i am up for learning those who are interested in repair work come to me now to learn the process um i can help with repair good good are you the young man who helped out in the master control zone i have a special task for you 45 meters out the door from from where we are now there's a major road defect i've checked and small ordnance depot the small ordnance depot on the other side of the defect is swarming with monsters. I'm afraid ordinary staff won't be able to deal with this. Um, don't worry, just leave it to me. Yes, make sure to repair the road and eliminate the monsters at the end of it. I have many other uh, matters to attend to. Please report back to me when you finish the task. Sounds good. We're gonna go this way, right? We have... Then... Oh, this guy's new. Let's do this. Because this gives us an attack boost when we start, right? Let me double check. It does, see? It gives us um, a speed boost and it gives him an attack boost. Okay, let's go. She actually kind of reminds me of Welt a little bit with her abilities. <laughs> All right. Oh, I should have done this. That's okay. She didn't have her ult yet, so that's something I wanted to say. Sorry, I totally missed out on it when I first like cut myself off. The reason why I was pushing ults before the big guy actually attacked was because I don't know like if you're from when you've done this game or if, I'm sorry if you've played this game what I'm gonna say is probably like duh obviously but um I'm thinking because he does like that it was against the flame guy so it was like the rain rain fire AOE or something like it um because of that that actually boosts the ult meter so much faster so uh, i wanted to make sure i got rid of those alts before the meter got touched so lay are you all right why don't you text back uh wrong number oh sorry but whoever is reading this please tell lay when you meet her that rocky will be waiting for her at the space station so who's lay Hello. Oh, we just got we just got ghosted. Very cool. <laughs> All right, so we were here earlier. Return to the safe zone. Safe zone. So it's just it was just that the enemy, I guess. I move my mic a little. Hold on. Okay, that should help because I had to slouch to talk to you guys, <laughs> and it was hurting my back. Okay. Young man, you're back. Let me concentrate and inspect your work. 
there's a 0.5 millisecond time delay between the sound reaching both ears, which indicates that the source is in the 3 or 9 o'clock position. The sound is much louder in the left ear, which confirms the 9 o'clock position. That means the monsters in the 3 o'clock position have been eliminated. Good job. Um, yeah, that's crazy. That's some Tanjiro level of hearing. It's just sonar positioning, nothing to brag about. In the Herna Department of Ecology, we deal with all sorts of galactic creatures every day. Developing this kind of ability is just part of our training. The staff of Herda Space Station possesses many different abilities. After meeting a few of us, you won't be surprised anymore. Okay. Now this is the reward. Thank you. Um, back when I was a researcher, the universe is never friendly. The vast universe has countless pairs of eyes staring at the space station with various intentions. Some covet its curios, others envy its neutrality and freedom. Uh, chess piece that can be destroyed and trampled on. Mm. Very cool. So they want to protect it for what it kind of represents to them. Which makes a lot of sense. I think that's the case with a lot of other people. Okay, look at missions. Like, oh, missions is the same as journal, I'm guessing. Okay, we still can't do that because we're not 14 yet. We're level 12 still. Okay. So I was thinking actually of switching to Final Fantasy in a little bit. I wanted to maybe do about an hour to an hour and a half of Honkai. I know I'm never probably never going to finish this game. Um, that is one of the... I wanted to try- what is this asking? Oh, this is the Rocky quest. Uh, yeah, I think Herda's this is probably the best thing. Let's see how much, uh, Jade we have. We could pull. Thing there. There either. Wow, no luck. Okay, no, we can't do that. Four. We want to get these eventually. Oh, you know what? Have we done this? One, it is. Don't have enough. Okay. So we have to do more rolling. That's what that means. <laughs> Mutual demise. I haven't seen that one before. Okay. Well. Well, it we tried. We tried. Eventually, we will get a five star. Our first five star. I'll need to record today's notes in the data bank. Right? Yeah, I'll be a five star. It'll be fun. Bernard. Or no, this is Rocky. Hey. What are you doing? Poem. Sorry about that. QK was saying hi. <laughs> um, I was actually thinking later on that we'd play some Left 4 Dead together. So, uh, but we are waiting on Shammy and uh, Bree, so we'll check that out soon, right? Let us see. Oh, by the way, do you want to make dinner soon? Uh, I was thinking of it. I'm gonna go on a small break for. I can make it. No, we can make it together. Take a break and then I'll come back. 
Okay. How come Leslie still hasn't replied to my letters after all those poems I sent her? Um, who is Leslie? Leslie is a prominent researcher in the Department of Insight, the only scholar who visited the Abundance Segmentum, this Amber Era. You sure she has time for you? Of course she does. Ever since Leslie left, we've been communicating on and off through the Galaxy Airway for people. You will never ignore me, even though we are tens of thousands of light years away. This is the only time she hasn't replied to me. I, I confess my love for her in my last letter. I usually just talk to her about the types of rock and mud we see in the Department of Galactic Geography. Rat. Show some respect to your own dis a discipline, will you? I really don't understand why Leslie stopped answering me after I confessed my love for her. We used to chat about a lot of things, from which of the 101 Aeon instruments and the Department of Insight required Gunn's beard to... And, and about how to use astro rods to examine the quality of soil, thus determining the rise and fall of the inhabitants of the planet. Um, ghosting you might just be her way of rejection. Uh, ghosting you, right. That's impossible. If she were to reject me, why would she talk to me so much? Besides, mm, this is a nice, this is the nice guy thing. Just because a girl is nice to you does not mean that she's in love with you. <laughs> you can have a lot to talk about somebody, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're, they have mutual feelings, you know? And she could also belong to someone else, you don't know. During the communication where I confessed my love, she told me about a spectacular star quake. Think about it. A star died. Most people would try to hide, but not my Leslie. Not only did she get first-hand observational data, she even saved a, galax a galaxy hitchhiker who almost died. You have no idea how happy she sounded in her reply. Even the airwave repeater signal was cheerful. Whenever I re re receive a reply from her, I can't help but picture the smile on her face and I'd carve it into a rock. Before the Legion invasion, I had a bunch of rocks all lined up in a row on my desk. Unfortunately, they went missing in the chaos. Reckless romance. It's detrimental to your research. Bernard's very, um... Grumpy. Anyway, there's no sign that she's going to reject me. But I don't reply, receive a reply within the usual time frame. It, must, there, it means that there must be something going wrong with the gal galaxy airway for people. Okay. Um, I found out the group of Legion monsters occupied the area. Okay. Oh, something might be wrong with the radio. Don't help him. All he thinks about is the airwave repeater. He hasn't done any proper work for more than 10 days. Shame on you. Um, we may as well get this off his chest. The Fulligans. Don't listen to my master. If you have time to listen to him, you've found the galaxy airwave repeater running. Okay. Near a disposal site. Oh. This guy is... He said he'll invite us to his wedding. The girl didn't even say that whether or not she liked him yet. I mean, there's some girls that are like that, right? Not to say it is a, it's a good thing to do, but there are some girls who are very shy to a point where like, if somebody... Uh, somebody kind of confesses to them and then they don't have the same feelings they kind of just ghost or they feel really awkward so they just don't want to say anything i feel like that's pretty common not that it should happen a healthy way to deal with it but it just happens especially if they're not comfortable or they're not um the word for it they're not experienced Right here. Abnormal root. Attachment protection activated. Ultra nickel parts missing. Okay. I'll okay. But the fact that he's like, you know, he was like, oh, um, I'll I'll uh, invite you to our wedding. Like, uh, that's being very fast with everything. Okay. We need two, right? 
Oh, wait, it got rid of both? Can I do it again and it goes to the other side that I need? Oh, damn it. I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through the whole thing. Okay. This will strengthen our position. Go. Oh, Trotter. Okay, let's focus on Trotter. Okay. So I'll only be for myself. hope they all focus on yeah there we go use her ult as well hopefully this will actually freeze the trotter down so it doesn't run yes nice okay. i don't know what these chargers are for charges are for hold on increases attack up to five stats so th up to 35 actually really really good okay the truth of life and death revealed in an instant the sanctuary is but a vision get rid of this trotter yes nice okay let's check myself let's make it quick humble Oh, that's okay. They're actually protected. Those are probably the best people to go for. <laughs> nice. Hey. Okay. We'll just um, burn him down. There you go. All right. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Achieved, and this is probably for getting the trigger. We have another one. We have a warp. We have a warp. We might actually have one warp. No, nothing exciting. Okay. Damn, free to play life sucks. <laughs> All right, we're removing this here. We remove that up there. This will strengthen our position. There's another battle here. I wonder what that. I wonder if the phrase that we found earlier is gonna actually gonna um be useful to anything. <laughs> I just like wrote it down for no reason. I, honestly, I think it's because of like so many puzzle games. I guess you could say like point and clicks and mystery games. I just do instinctively, I think. Get this guy out. Yeah, that should do a break. No freeze, but that's okay. Break. Yep. This is our chance. Try to get some damage down. Oh. Thankfully these um battles seem to be pretty annoying if I oh no, wrong way. If I had to do really hard battles constantly. Here. There we go. The ultra nickel part. I'm wondering if there is isn't. Damn. I was gonna say I, I was wondering if there was space anchor up here. That'd be very so we don't have the whole I guess bridge puzzle again but nope fuck here oh go ahead and bring these to oh no this is the right one bring them to the computer over here right should fix it hmm. Airwave is on.
to present. Rocky has to leave you. Of course I understand what you mean. As for my answer, record is damp. End of historical record. Airwave transmission has not been. Why was the record damaged here? I cannot identify. Life form emotional fluctuation. And detected. Life form emo emotional life. Uh, you entered the full surveillance area of the space station. Did not conduct any. Airwave is offline. Um. Or. Go to the surveillance room. See what's going on. We don't even know our answer. What the? Author, uh, author is authentication passed. Okay. Um. What was it? Where did we? The maintenance room. Disposal site? The disposal site? Wow. Oh. Yeah, because we're checking to see um because remember he um Rocky said the terminal's near the disposal. He was like, why is the record weird and off? So it was Bernard. Found it at last. Camera only captured the image of a blurry figure from behind. It looks like Bernard. Um Someone is trapped in the repulse. We should I uh, so we're gonna go and confront him and ask him what the heck? Why did you uh basically ruin the for the for that airway? I'll need to record today's notes in the databank. Here he is, Bernard. I don't know what you're talking about. Young people should spend more time studying instead of wandering around. Um, it's been captured by security footage. There's no denying it. Should you fixed it? Yes, I did. Worried to death. He damaged the record for his own good. He forgo he's forgone he's forgone his research because of that less dimension. I have no idea what's happening. Leslie? Leslie? Did something happen there? Okay. Because I was going to say maybe he destroyed the record because he was worried that Rocky would be heartbroken. The fact that like she's dead or she's sick or something like that. And then he would do everything. And then to not do work but go to her in that way. So he's like... You know, kids should be more studying and stuff like that. No, she's safe and safe. She said, yes, the Rockies can But they can't be together. If you think I'm the one being difficult here, you're wrong. Don't get ahead of yourself. They can't be together. They will never be together. You know why? No, you don't. People rarely understand what a star quake means. With proper protection, a star quake will not cause physical damage to humans. However, the gravitational collapse caused by a star quake will severely change the space-time curvature uh, segmentum. For example, the time in Leslie's segmentum was once a straight line like ours, but now it has been pressed into a huge canyon by gravity. Clearly a curve is always longer than a straight line. Therefore, the time curve of her segmentum is going to cover several times the length when converted to our time length. Do you even know what that means? The flow of time will be different. It means the velocity of our time is different from hers. If it's a canyon, I'm guessing her time is going slower? Since the star quake, the temporal difference between Leslie and ours will gradually increase. It's possible that the time it takes for her to apply for her apply to sorry for her to apply for her reply to arrive will change from one month to a year and maybe even ten years. Yeah, so they're accelerating, right? They're accelerating as like forward. And because their time is so different, they're gonna keep going even further forward. 
and accelerate versus her who is kind of almost not stuck but moving at a much slower pace um and not to say that she's gonna grow older she's not gonna grow older or whatever it is it's just us in our time is going we're going to grow or i'm sorry age more rapidly compared to her so this isn't just about her message but everything she does until she leaves that abnormal gravity gravity environment every month she spends in the galaxy will equal decades for us hmm Every month equals a decade. It's a lot. Let's say, if Rocky, including us, is living at a point called the present, then in comparison, Leslie, she's living in the future. Oh, so she's... It's the opposite. I used to be a young man once. In my opinion, not being able to be with someone you love is even more cruel than being rejected. Uh, at least tell him. Then what? Knowing the truth, Rocky will have to wait ten times longer for a message that should have arrived. He would ha would have to live in this lonely presence and wait for the future containing Leslie to finally come to him. How much time can he spend waiting? Maybe Leslie will finally return to the space station when he's old and decrepit like me, but the flow of time for her is so slow. Maybe at the time she will be as young as she is today. When that time comes, how are they going to be together? They may transcend space, but time is beyond our reach. You're way too young. You don't understand. Things that require a lot of waiting don't usually end up well. Um. He will never give up if he doesn't know. At first I thought, I, if I damage the record, take away the parts and blame everything on the monsters, I can keep Rocky in the hope that one day the repeater will be removed. Since you found out the decision is up, up to you. I have two signal logs I copied from the repeater, red and blue. It's this red, blue, blue pill. Blue, blue pill, red pill. The red log contains Leslie's real reply, including the truth about the starquake. To be honest, even I can't imagine what Rocky will do after finding out the truth given how impulsive he is. Blue log is forged, which Leslie refuses from. Don't think about this as cruel. This, this way, Rocky won't have to wait for a reply in the future. You just move on with this. Mm, let's call these the red truth and the blue eye. It's up to you to decide which one you give him. Take them and give it some. Rocky is waiting. Um. I would probably do the red truth lock. I think because whatever he rocky decides to do with his life in regards to this news that is totally up to him but he needs to know he can make the executive decision to to do what he he needs to do um with the knowledge that he has about what would happen to leslie one of the things i don't like is like it, in in a situation where you know um Maybe they're in danger or they aren't they aren't there. Like they aren't present for somebody to kind of misrepresent them in a way, especially when they're in a crisis scenario. So for Leslie to be represented properly is kind of where I'm standing. Bro, you're back. While you're away, I wrote another problem called Praise Leslie. Oh man. Um, the red truth. You sure the red one is for me? Yes, I am. Okay, I'll read it now. Because of the gravitational effect of the star quake, every month she spends in her time will be decades from me. Am I going to be a My interpretation Let me take a look. I'm a bit slow. Is that what she means? She's gone to the future. I'm left in the that would happen. The decades I spent thinking about it would only be a fleeting moment. I would have thought that even time could be I guess it's unrealistic to hope that she'll come back. Even if she travels for months and crosses light years, I will have will have become an old man in my time. 
um enduring endless longing and lone yeah he needs to come to this conclusion himself like he's a smart guy he's a researcher he he you know you think i'm really that naive of course i'm not going to wait for her won't it was unexpected i'm not going to wait for her but i can go and go after her i'm going to chase after time since her space time curvature become a canyon wouldn't it be better for me to travel past this canyon instead of waiting for her to come back maybe it'll take me 10 years to find her who only spent a month but once i do that our time will be synchronized it's better than sitting here and doing nothing don't you agree um i mean that's fair that's fine but that's crazy but at the same time you have to understand that we are playing a game where we have, as Bernard said, conquered space. And, like, if you've conquered space, then conquering time isn't too far. Okay. Very just scenery and deep space. Um, what resides in deep space? What resides in deep space? By then I will invite you to be our best This again, the best man thing. Did a second time pedal falling. Like the ticking chimes in an infinite time is no choice. But to slide into the shivering collapse universe of sliding down a slope in du into dusk. And with that the stars continue their enjoyment above as the elegant smell fill the wave. It's actually not too bad. I mean, it was pretty. Oh, by her. Oh, I'm guessing. Oh, well, I mean, it makes sense. He's off. You know. Chase time, essentially. Okay, so I think I have. Oh, I was literally right there. Still level 12. Fine. Do we, have, do we have a warp? So I'm going. And I'm gonna go make some. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go make some dinner. I'm gonna come back after I make something or I would do something. And in the meantime, <laughs> there we go. Now we're we're in our Zatsu place. And there we are. Um I'll lower this just a little just so you can hear me. Oh. So yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of a break because I'm gonna grab something to eat. Um I am hungry. <laughs> But, um, we're going to come back. We might be playing some Left 4 Dead. If we don't play some Left 4 Dead, then I'm down for playing something else. So, um, yeah, I will definitely want to see you guys later. Definitely just, just take a little bit of time. That's all. All right. Thanks. I will talk to you beelings later. Thank you for tuning in to Honkai. Not, not a lot of people came in today um but as usual i will put all, all of my videos onto youtube so if you want to keep up with that then you'll see me then <laughs> so i will talk to you all later bye bye beelings talk to you later bye